Hello, everyone. It's William and Andrew behind the camera. Howdy. Today here for Allegory Gallery, and we're in my home office. Um, we uh, we were pulling through and looking through and pricing all these beautiful artisan glass beads that we have for you today. Um, I had to decide which ones I was going to keep <laughs> and which ones I would let out into the universe. Right. Some of these are newly acquired. Some of these are from Andrew's already private collection. Um, so he was um, picking his brain, um, straining his brain is more like it, trying to figure out which ones he could let go of. Boy, it hurt. <laughs> it hurt y'all. It hurt, he said. He's letting go of things. So hopefully... Um, if you're out there, you'll say hi and let us know that you're out there. If you are tuning in um, to watch the replay, um, most of all of this is still good. We are going to give you, just like we did yesterday for the gemstone strands, and by the way, that 20% sale is over now. Um, but today, just like we did yesterday, we're going to bring you 20% off of the retail on these beads as well. Now, um, these are really pretty beads. They're all handmade glass, handcrafted by artisan glass makers. We have one, two, three, four, four or five different makers that we're going to go through today with you. Um, and then tomorrow, I think we're going to do those glass strands that we talked about to take an easy trip on Friday. Um, cause you know, some of these are, are, you know, they're, they're not something you're just going to pick up. In your budget because some of them are a little bit more expensive we tried to have a good mix today um but some of them are more expensive so tomorrow we're going to take an easy friday they're and worth it though. they are worth it um and we had a very hard time even i had a hard time deciding to let go of, i'm like no we can't we gotta keep that one well part of the reason why it's uh why they're um worth it so much is some of the artists don't make them anymore so the these ones they if they are out in the world they're either in uh, bead collections there's a couple in a in the corning museum glass museum mm -hmm. so um these are definitely some like some of these are for all the bead collectors out there um they're not necessarily things you may use in your jewelry you might um but beads are also good for you know having a collection like people have stamp collections people have coin collections you're allowed to have a bead collection and these beads that we're going to show you today a lot of them are worthy of being in your bead collection even if you never use them to make anything from um, they are pieces of artwork in themselves so we're going to do this today tomorrow we're going to take it easy with some some nice well-priced glass strands um and then that'll be the end of the week and we then we might add some artisan tomorrow too we might do artisan tomorrow but we're definitely going to come back to do some artisan on monday we're going to start your week off right next week with some more artisan glass so um we have about 30 lots for you today and we're going to try and make this not so long because andrew started cooking dinner and i smelled it and now i'm hungry and we're already an hour later than we normally are oh there's barnaby barnaby's hanging out with andrew today <clears throat> so Suzanne is here. Hello, AG Bead fam. Marianne says merci beaucoup for letting go of some of the glass beads and good afternoon to all. So if you're out there, please say hi. Let us know you're out there um, so I don't think I'm talking to myself. Um, and then also please hit the share button. And maybe you don't want to hit the share until after you've gotten your selection. Um, and I get that. But please hit the share at least after that. That'll help. Do you want to tell who won yesterday, or do you think it should be a surprise? I don't know. Do y'all want to know who won the little extra? <coughs> Oops, sorry. I just choked. I didn't bring my water. Um, You want to know? Look, there's Barn. Mwah. You're going to say, hi, Barn. You're going to sell some glass today? We told him he has to do his part. Mm -hmm. He has to do his part. So he's going to be cute right now. Cinnamon he's says, hello, a, Barnaby. He's having a good day today. You've got an admirer. Barnaby Cinnamon saying hello. Okay. <clears throat> so he's going to clean me up a little bit. And then, so what was I saying? Do you want to know who won the extra prize yesterday? Bonnie says yes. And hi, Barnaby. Susan You're says hi, Barnaby. I know. He's, I got a little tail wrapping around up here. Hi, buddy. 
He always tries to knock down the camera stand with kisses. Oh, there's Jen. Jen is our teacher. Jen Tushan, if you see her out here in Facebook Landia, she's in the comments. Um, she's going to have class tomorrow in store, y'all. So, um, did y'all see that? We have, she made a delightful bunch of earring projects. So, if you didn't see that, I posted it in the event. We have an event in our Facebook page for Allegory Gallery um, for the classes. So, you can check out that event. And inside that event, I've been posting um, some of those earrings she made. So, if you'd like to learn how to make those, tomorrow's a great time from noon to four if you're local to hang out with Jen and make stuff in store. Um, Let's see here. And Jen is going to have classes every Friday in December, except the very last Friday, um, which is, I think, is the 30th, which is close to New Year's. So, but even the 23rd, which is the day before Christmas Eve, um, we're going to be closed on Christmas Eve. We close on Christmas Eve in the store. Um, and Christmas. And Christmas, of course. But um, Jen will be there on the Friday before Christmas Eve to make stuff with y'all. So if you are watching from local, from the local area, come join us for classes and have fun with us. Okay, so some people want to see who won. So it was our friend um, Susan Surreal out here who won the extra little giveaway yesterday. So congratulations. Thank you all for sharing. That was a, just a little gift we're throwing in with anybody. Well, we picked one person out of all the shares. So you want to do that again today? If you want to do that again today, y'all, maybe we'll do that. Hit that share button. Tell us you shared. Andrew will check on those shares. Make sure you share publicly. Change the the profile to public. Yeah, there were three people I couldn't see last yeah, night. Yeah, so, so if we can't see you, that means you shared them. Barnaby is not liking you picking up his <laughs> He's looking. So Barnaby loves to tear apart cardboard boxes. So he sits in the box, and then he tears off edges all <laughs> around the edge here. This is this is Barnaby's artwork. This is his craft work here. This is what Barnaby does for craft work. And he, um, I have a box on my floor. He's been doing that too. And Andrew is cleaning up the scraps, and he he's is looking. Naked. He's looking so hard at him. Like, what are you? <laughs> he's looking so hard at you. Dude. He's oh, like, wow. <laughs> you're lucky I didn't do this earlier. <laughs> but it's getting to the point where they're like. It's everywhere on the floor. He's made a mess in here. Uh -huh. So yeah. every time he comes in, he bites a little more. And I just let him do it. We don't use this office as much as we used to because we're mostly at the cottage mm -hmm. now. So he comes in here sometimes at night and just bites away. Mm -hmm. um, so we never know how much more we're going to find when we come in. Um, Susan says, oh, my, why, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Jen says she's also doing new Christmas necklace plans, too. So if you want Christmas necklaces, Christmas earrings, um, she's got some good ideas for y'all. So if you're local, come into classes tomorrow, noon to four in the store, every Friday in December, except the very last one. Jen will be in the store um, and making stuff. So you can make any of these necklaces or earrings that she's been showing um, or will be showing um, anytime, anytime this month on Fridays. All right. So is Suzanne watching? Suzanne is watching. Did you tell them yet that you were experimenting with a different... I did not. I'm, I'm getting to that. I've been doing a lot of stuff today. So today I made an event in the Design Challenge group and shared a post that we are having our creative make-along on December 16th from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time. So that event, now you can join. I figured some people like events better on Facebook because it lets them know. So you can go in and hit going to that event or interested to that event. So Facebook can pop it up again later and tell you, hey, it's time. Um, so I made an event for the creative make along. So that was one thing I did today. I put up the notice that we are taking book idea submissions for the Inspired by Reading Book Club for the 2023 reading list. We need 12 books. So if y'all want to help out by giving us suggestions on what books you'd like to read for the book club, please go into that post and put it in the comments of that post. And it doesn't have to be something that you haven't read before. No, you can be something you've read already. That you would recommend. Mm -hmm. That's especially helpful if you actually do know what the book's about. Because sometimes we get duds and... Um... Yep. Like we read one book about child molester and I was like, who picked this? Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not do that. I so, was like, whoever picked this one, they're not going to get invited to pick again. They don't get to pick again. Um, of course, we don't know who it was now, so who knows. But um, maybe Andrew doesn't remember. 
but um <laughs> he's got the scary memory sometimes so I try to block that one out i know so we did that so if you'd like to suggest a book please do that in the inspired by reading book club if you're not in the book club group already it is a private group um so you do have to ask to join so just ask and we'll let you in yeah some um, of our um, members were teachers and they didn't want to have their um, you know, students looking in or all that. So watching them right. enjoy Moscato. So we're going to have in-store meetups for the book club. And we're going to have online meetups. They're going to be different days. Um, so we'll schedule those all out once we get everything up and running again. But we'll leave the details. Um, we'll put the details out for all of you. And we'll make some events and stuff too for that. And so I did that today. The other thing I did is I looked into subscriptions. So kit subscriptions. Somebody accidentally bought one. Some, they didn't act. They, they intendedly bought one, but um, it wasn't ready yet. Um, oh. So I refunded that person. I was just playing with it to see how it works. And somebody at the same moment that I was playing with it um, actually bought a subscription. So I had to refund that because we're not ready yet. But I did find a plan that allows us to do subscriptions without charging us much extra. I think I want to do a monthly box, but not the global box. So it'll be like an inspiration kit, but it'll be a smaller. It won't be as like, I don't know. What do you all want to do? Do you want to do the design challenges? Like we have, the, we have a lot of questions about what we're going to do. Like the one question is, do we make the design challenge get smaller? Because when they started off, they were um, more small. Yeah, and as they're getting bigger, prices are going up now. Um, we used to charge like 32 to $36 for them. And if we put as much in them as we used to, they're, they're going to get expensive. We originally started when they are $20 a piece. Yeah. But that was 15 years yeah, ago. Yeah, that was before the store. The store's prices have usually been 32 to 36. We try and keep it in that range. But um, right now, some of the inspiration kits have to be priced around there. Mm -hmm. So if we did as much packing in on the design challenge kits, um, they'd get up there in price. And we don't know if y'all want to do subscriptions to like 70 or $80 a month boxes. I would kits. be sh sh surprised if I got some <laughs> got that charge and was expecting it. Well, I mean, you should expect it if you signed up for it. But I know, but you know, how that's the is. thing is we're gonna make whatever we subscribe subscribe you to. It's gonna be the same price all the time. So at least you can once you buy it, um, it's gonna be the same. But we might just do inspiration kits. Um, we were playing. I was just testing out. Um, the global expedition kits that we're working on. Um, so if you saw that pop up in the store, that's why I was playing around with it today. Um, but we did find a way to make this work. So the only thing about the global expedition kits is that sometimes the, the stuff is harder to get. So, um, so there's not always going to be a consistent number. Yeah. And so we can't have, you know, a subscription service for 30 boxes and then only have enough stuff to make 25. Now we can limit the number of people who sign up, but we, you know, if we're going to do a subscription, it's best to let you have a subscription. Um, so we're working on the ideas for that. Uh, let's see. Let me go through the comments here because I've been missing everybody's comments. Um, ba, ba, ba. Bonnie says, sushi tonight. I might have to leave early. We get it. You can always watch the replay. Um, everybody's saying congrats to Susan for winning the little extra. Um, let's see here. Jen says, we'll be making necklaces design planned and ready. Insider tip, they'll match the earrings, the Christmas earrings. Nice. Susan said, we had to move our little tree a little last night and had to move Smokey Cat. He was under it. He got serious cat it and nipped my husband uh oh who is okay he got wild he got wild sandra says hello y'all thank you for joining us susan says my hubs was a teacher so the privacy thing in the inspired by reading design group inspired by reading book club group is very understandable um jen says small kits um oh serious catitude that's what it was he got serious catitude and nipped my husband. That happens sometimes. That's understandable. That happens sometimes, right? Everybody gets catitude sometimes. 
Um, Barnaby is looking at me again. <laughs> Susan says, smaller kits are a great idea. So maybe we'll do smaller kits and subscribe you to smaller kits. If you, who even wants a subscription? I know Suzanne was talking about it. Who out there, if you're watching now and put it in the comments, if you're even interested in a subscription, we've done this work to kind of get it ready. But if like three people sign up, you know, that's three people that are buying every month. That's a nice thing. But um, is it worth it? Is it worth going through this, this work to do it? That's the question. Um, so if you're interested in a subscription kit plan from us or some type of box from us, um, let us know. We're, we're thinking around the $24 to $36 range a month. Um, so if that's something that would interest you, let us know. Put it in the comments. Say yes, subscription. Well, um, it helps to plan for what we can buy yeah. also. Because it, it is nice that we'll know how many people are on the list. Because sometimes we spend like thousands of dollars to put together a kit and then like two kits sell. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm gently rocking back and forth. So if we know you already are subscribed and you're already signed up to get the kit, whatever we make, um, then we know what to buy and know how much to buy. Um, Suzanne says interested in subscription. Jen says it sounds like a great idea. Susan says subscriptions are a nice idea, just need more details. See, and that's the thing, is you wouldn't get necessarily details every month. You just get the box. Um, so that's that's what it is. Um, like we have different ideas too. Like one of them is to do um, like a challenge piece that's actually like hard. Like you get some rando thing. <laughs> that you are really going to have to pick your brain how to use yeah like a belt buckle or some weird stuff um or then another idea is that we have an artisan component and you get an artisan component every month mm -hmm. we used to do a pendant club we could do it with it's our enameled charm, stuff charm so, club so we could do pendant subscriptions that's when i was doing stuff by myself and i would cry when now I you was, have some help i can help now i know i would gently cry <laughs> because we i would have to make this stuff and send it out and it, it became very overwhelming uh, on maybe. top of so would you like like always kits would you like sometimes a kit sometimes a pendant sometimes beads um, that's the kind of thing we're, we're trying to figure out. It, does it have to be a kit every month? Cause if it doesn't have to be a kit every month, if it's just something from allegory gallery that you trust us, um, that could be a fun thing too. Um, Cindy says, I like a subscription box. Marianne says, I'm not really interested in another subscription. Um, Susan says, I like the artisan idea. Um, Suzanne says, I'm open to variety. Yeah. So. Maybe, maybe we'll do some kind of allegory gallery box and you just, you don't know what you're going to get. We'll price it 24 to $36 a month, somewhere in there. Yeah, we started this idea a long time ago, probably when we first opened this store and uh, the technology just wasn't there. It would have been hard. So everything was manual yeah. and so like I had these slips of paper that I used to have to organize and yeah, ledger books. And Susan says, I like the something special idea. Um, Sander wants a gemstone subscription. Um, Cynthia says, I've contributed to several subscription boxes in the past. I don't know if folks are still doing them. I don't know. That's a thing. I know some of our friends, they do them. And we're we're trying to do something different, you know, not co you know copy directly. Yeah, because at this point, everyone's you know everyone a lot of people have tried the subscription route. Uh, Marianne says, except now maybe in a special item box, <laughs> so she might subscribe to a special item box, like the rando one. Yeah, the rando boxes. Um, I have a lot of like vintage stuff that I was like, who is gonna want this, like weird belt buckle jen said she would like a findings box me too <laughs> i know right maybe we'll see so we'll see we're, we're still brainstorming so if any of you have any input it's a good time to let us know because if if we don't hear enough from people on it we're just not going to do we're it. just not going to do it um so if y'all have input and y'all would like something if any of those ideas we've talked about sound good 
um, let us know because it is something that we've talked about for years. And when we first started talking about it, there was no way to implement it easily. We um, did it. We yeah. did do it. <laughs> but twice, actually. Um, it was not easy. No. And then I got backlogged and stuff. And yeah. So that was really hard. Hello, Carmen. Thanks for tuning in. So, yeah, we are talking about some kind of subscription thing. And if you'd like uh, like a special item box from us or if you want all kits or Sandra said gemstones, um, that might be harder right now. Um, gem of the month. Gem of the month might be a little hard just because we, you know, shows are a little bit few and far between. Yeah. So it's harder for us to get the good quality things monthly. Um and in quantity and in quantity enough for a subscription right now so that might be hard that's the only reason that i would say whoa maybe on that if people if enough people want to do it though we can make it work it's just marion um, says i get gems a finding or two and some check glass in my current subscription mm. i think she gets sam's is that sam's probably so yeah we're trying to do something that's not you know the same as everybody so we'll see yeah i don't want sam to cut my face right so that's something we're talking about so that's something i did today um i planned uh the class schedule today what i say okay the class schedule the book club the creative make along on zoom the subscription idea um yeah that was i think what i did so far today Marianne says, yes, it is Sam's. You did other stuff too. Well, I helped people in the store. We had customers today. Um, yeah, I did other things. But that's the main things I was going to talk with you all about today. Um, and you have secret stuff too. Suzanne said, I have no subscriptions. Only AG would interest me. Well, thank you. We appreciate that. Um, so, yeah. But I like the global findings because I'm working on some secrets. We'll see if I get it done in, over the weekend so they can ship out. Ship out. Because Barb is back, so we're catching up. Yeah, Barb is catching up. Barb spent, I think, 10 hours shipping yesterday. Um, and then more today. And a little bit more this morning. Um, Teresa also says I get Sam's, but that is it. So we're trying to think of something. We don't want to outprice y'all and, you know, but... Um, knowing, see, that's being a boutique store like we are, um, knowing what we have to supply to people is sometimes a lot easier because we can purchase things with that knowledge. Um, so, you know, it's like when we go to a show and we shop for people, Yeah, if we know we're shopping for 20 people or 50 people, however many join the subscription, um, we know we have one, the steady income to purchase items with. Um, and that that money will be there to purchase items with, and we know how many to get. So that's why a subscription can make sense. Um, so we're, we're, we're tossing it around. Suzanne brought it up, and we've been putting some effort into uh, researching it here in the last few days. So we, always, we do listen to y'all. We try to listen. Yeah, if it's a good idea, we'll see if it will work for us. Mm -hmm. It's easy to say no to things. I was in this one group where oh every single idea, no, no, uh, no, no, no. And I was like, what? what am I just like, is it, I'm like in the no category? And there was never uh, a, um, but maybe you could do this or, but maybe no, you'd want to try to just shut down. shut down. And so I was like, well, we know what that's like. I'm just going to go do my own thing. <laughs> and then you all tell me how that goes. <laughs> And that's how that that ended up. Yeah. So we want you to know we do listen um, and we do, you know, if things might make sense for us, we investigate. So that's that's that. I think we're also at a crossroads in our business where we're having to figure out where we go next and how we get there and trying to plan out the future is not always the most easy because you can never, like, we couldn't have predicted the pandemic, no. you know, no. and we wouldn't, we, uh, we wouldn't be doing these every day if it weren't for the pandemic, though. 
I know. There's so a lot like, we would not be doing if we never had the pandemic. So it's like if you would have told me we would go on every single day as a live, I would have been like, you're crazy. Yep. And doing creative make alongs and, you know, finding ways to, you know, interact easier. Um, buying buildings. Yeah. Buying had buildings. you told me that I'd be a land baron? <laughs> in my 20s i would have laughed until <laughs> i was forced um cindy says subscription boxes are good to shop for if you um if you have the cash you can get some cool stuff yeah and having the subscription hit you have the money you know you're going to have the money to cover it so mm -hmm. that's susan said the price point you mentioned works yeah we don't want to outdo like i know if we did a 75 dollars subscription box i know some people would sign up um, but I also know that that would prohibit people possibly from buying other things. Mm -hmm. um, or, I mean, you know, I don't know. Or maybe you forget and you buy more things anyway. <laughs> that could be good for us. I don't know. Um, I but th I don't know. It's just like everybody. So we're a part of these different um, groups that like, um, I don't want to call them seeker groups, but. Well, they're for bead store owners and we, things like we, that. We talk amongst ourselves, and a lot of us are really in uh, a tumultuous time mm -hmm. where sales have dropped significantly, and we're trying to figure out what to do and how to how to basically keep going, mm -hmm. and not just keep going, but also to grow, to grow and thrive. You know, we're 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 tired of being. Like, we're very lucky. Knock on wood, we're very lucky we made it this far. Um, but we're, our growth, like, we're surviving right now. We're not in a growth stage. No, we used to do 20% every year we would grow our business. Yeah. So over the pandemic now, we are in a surviving stage and we've fallen backwards some. Um, but we're still here. So that's the good news. So we're trying to figure out what we can do that might be part of that next growth. And um, I don't know if subscriptions are it, but they are a generally, unless a ton of people cancel their subscriptions at once, they are generally a way to have a secured income. At least you know you have this many people and you're gonna have this amount of money. Um, so that's part of it. That makes me feel good on my end because I deal with the numbers and stuff. To me, that's like, yay, I know I'm going to have this amount of money hit the bank on this day um, because we're going to have subscriptions sold. So, um, but is that necessarily the right thing to do going forward? Because it's a lot of work. We know how much subscription work can be because we've done it um, all manually before. So at least that would be something. It would be a little different. I have a hair falling in my face. Sorry, everybody. So I'm trying to pull it out. Um, so we know how much that can be to do, but it's, um, it's also, you know, could be very good. We'll think about it. Sandra says, so it got you out of your comfort zone way out. Um, for who? The, the pandemic. Andrew says, oh. for who? He's like, I'm in the house all the time now. Oh. <laughs> no, That's... he's, he's got things to do too. You know, I, this past year, I've left the house more than yeah. ever, or maybe last with year. Last year with classes and stuff. Um, we looked at our mileage, and I was like, do what? Spent a lot of mileage. Driving. Um, driving, a lot of miles. Spent a lot of miles. I Diane said, says, I'm trying out watching you on TV and connecting my phone to Comet. Nice. I hope that works well for you. Which Diane? Diane Davis. Oh, nice. So what about some cartons? <laughs> No, can bring up every time but i'm not playing he wants curtains he'll trade you for curtains you know what today though i'm a, okay so this is a little bit maybe unsettling um i'm going off script y'all i don't even know what he's talking about so we have cameras set up all around this cottage and today we caught somebody peeping in the windows you never know and so is it like, is it somebody trying to break in or somebody who's nosy? So he wants curtains is what he's saying. Um, <laughs> because if I have to go sit there with my machete <laughs> to prove a point, the, the, the says, I'll do it. Yeah. But so today we saw somebody peeping in the window and 
that was less than ideal. But I think I recognize them. I think it's the person who walks by every day. Probably. It's also, it's one of those things, like, people do, like, you know, when you're in town and you're walking down the street and somebody's windows open or their curtains are open, you know some people look in the house, right? You know that's, that's like the, here. Yeah. I looked outside we keep the window all of our curtains. and I made perfect eye contact with somebody looking in the yeah, windows. We keep all of our windows closed. Yeah. Generally. When we all first the curtains. moved in. Yeah, we had the curtains open and everybody walking by, look in the house, look in the house. Look in, I'm like, we used our be... house is too crafty and messy to have people looking in all the time. I made perfect eye contact <laughs> with one of the neighbors. Yeah. So they stared at me, probably trying to figure out what I was cooking for dinner. <laughs> Let's see here. Suzanne says, oh, no, need curtains for privacy and safety. Yeah. Right. Kathleen says, I would want more curtains. Diane says, now I see why you're so focused on curtains. Yeah, because them peepers, them right. peeping toms. Barnaby's back. You can see his tail. He said, let me at him. Let me at him. I know. He'll get him. He'll so dominate they watch him. Willow, y'all. And um, <laughs> Andrew was unimpressed. Let me just tell you. <laughs> I William, he was like, oh, it's okay. I was like, listen, let, let's rewind and watch the original. And after we watched it, he's like, oh... Yeah, we had to watch the original movie last night so we could refresh our minds. And because, you know, the series, it's like a lot of other shows right now. And they have like young people and they like talk like young people. And like... If they said slay on that, I would just turn it off. <laughs> yeah. And so it's meant, I think, for younger people. Who never saw the movie. Who never maybe. saw the movie before. But yet they're trying to capitalize off of our nostalgia. Yeah, they are a little bit, so which is weird. weird. And then all the characters, I was like, I don't like this person. I don't like this person. I don't like this one. Do they live or die? I don't care. And then it's, a, it's one of those shows that comes on once a week. Mm -hmm. Instead of binge worthy, you can't binge it. It doesn't come up. They, they post one episode a week. So it's like, this is one we're probably not going to finish. Maybe. Um, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Because we were three episodes in and it did not get much better. And here's another thing. They had characters from the movie and they don't ever mention them. They don't ever acknowledge that they even is were in the movie. I do like how the old actors came back. Some what, of them. Some of them. And I was like, um, what happened to Mikosh? He got raptured. Teresa says, I didn't like the series, Willow. Loved the movie. Yeah, this Same. is the series. We're on episode three. That's all they've put out so far. And it's not as I good. I kind of feel like they... I will probably watch it. I don't mind it so much. I don't have so much of that. Nostalgia. Andrew's like... Nostalgia. Yeah, like I watched it. I was okay. I played the video game. I loved the video game, Willow. But the movie was like, okay. It was a nice movie. But Andrew's like into the movie. That, too much. He has the real nostalgia. And the episodes are making him crazy. I know. It's I can kind of like visually Anna watch Rock. him roll his eyes through his eyelids. They had a... <laughs> it's kind of like they had a, a outline of the script. But they didn't have a script. And they're like, hey, y'all, young people. Just say just, what you... Just, just ad, -lib. ad lib. Or mad lib. As... And then there, I was like, oh... <laughs> It would it just it would just rankle on my every last nerve. I was like, oh, if it wouldn't have magic in it, I would have turned it off. <laughs> so that was Willow. Uh -huh. That was Willow. Maybe y'all like it. I don't know, but for me, I don't think it was terrible. But if you have super nostalgia over the movie, it is not the same. Nah. Like they they try to play on like the corniness of the characters. Like that's in all the they show. Picked up they in the picked movie. up the yeah. They picked up like some of the corniness that's and the, even the movie's not like watching the episodes, the series. I thought, well, maybe the movie was like that, and I'm just remembering more wrong that it. No, the movie was pretty serious for the most part. But Mad Morgan, the only one that's like funny. Yeah, and the the little but brown. Like the whole series is very almost corny in a lot of ways, and yeah, just yeah, yeah. so. But it, it's like I don't think it's terrible. But if you are trying to get that same feeling as the movie back, it does not have that. 
And it's weird because a lot of the characters are the same. I know. It's like somebody told somebody's friend about the movie and then they wrote it from what their, <laughs> their friend told them. And I was like, oh, boy. But you know what would be great? If they were corny. Mm -hmm. Let's make them have a self-deprecating humor where they all fight all the time. I was like, they're supposed to like each Teresa other. Teresa said, yes, I watched the three episodes last night. I was like Andrew through it. I know. I was like, oh. <laughs> all right, everybody. Let's get to some beads. I know. They're going to talk we'll about the movie. Talk about this movie all day. We are not going to have the Inspired by Willow Challenge. <laughs> Maybe the original. Barnaby. That'd be cute. Maybe acorns. Barnaby saying hello to everybody. Did you hear that, everyone? Barn, what are you doing? You got to go sit with your golden daddy. But he doesn't want to. He wants to sit with me. Mm -hmm. So golden daddy surprise. took my art away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just another thing golden daddy did. Mm -hmm. Great. <laughs> what are you I'm drooling on my drooling on my pant leg? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna make you watch Willow. <laughs> Barn. You're gonna watch Willow. That'd be cute if we dressed them up. Little acorn hat. It'd be so charming. Cynthia used to have one. Okay, everybody. Here's the penny. Okay, Barn. Okay. He says, I want to help. Who's ready? Who is ready? Who wants to see some artisan glass, y'all? Our numbers drop. They're actually, they are dropping right now. They were up to 24. I was That's surprised. It went to a blank screen. Oh, here, go one more. So we're doing 20% off. My cat Luna perked up when she heard Barnaby. Nice. Isn't that cute? Um, Cindy says, you mean my painting hat? Correct. <laughs> okay, so lot Q. We're in lot Qs, Q lots. Um, this is Q1. Let me put up the banner. Let me put up the banner real quick because I forgot that. So to purchase from this video, take down each lot number, send it to us in an email at info at allegorygallery.com. There is only one of every lot. These are handmade, y'all. Only one of each lot. If you'd like to purchase it, and send it to us. People never make it ever again. No. Some of these people are retired or may not even be with us any longer. They're done. They are not making. So if you want to grab these for your, these, a lot of these are proper for your art bead collection, not mm -hmm. necessarily making into things. You can do it. Yeah, you can. You, you, you know, if you, if you have the customer that understands what it is. Um, or not. You just do it because you like it. You can do that not, too. They're not a cheap date. That's... No, they're not all a cheap date. And um, you get a savings though. You're getting a savings. We are giving 20% off for the 24 hours only. So tomorrow um, by our live, it's going to be a little less than 24 hours unless we go late. Um, but by tomorrow's live, the 20% sale ends. So this lot of David Christensen glass was $32. And if it goes to the online store, will be $32. Um, it's going to be $25.60 for you all if you claim before tomorrow's live. Yeah. I have invoiced that's another thing I did today. I invoiced everybody from yesterday. So if you sent us anything about the gemstones we did yesterday, you should have an invoice. Um, so check your emails and um, we will be, we're, we're catching up to our shipping. So we're trying to ship as quickly as we can. Mm -hmm. For the holidays. Yeah. Particularly. All right. So this is David Christensen glass. Cynthia, you remember when we used to be next to that dude's table? And he would get swarmed, and we basically got the spillover of his customers <laughs> waiting in line to check out. And it's sold by the gram. So these are, yeah, these are about a dollar a gram. These are about thirty-two grams per bag, so thirty-two dollars, twenty-five sixty. This is called furnace glass. Marion says they seem inexpensive to me. Good prices, right? Yeah, we did. So this is Furnace Glass by David Christensen. You get a little baggie of all of these little just random ones. Cynthia says, I loved being next to him. I got his overflow. She also said, that's an awesome price. Yep. <laughs> Andrew's like, yep, I'm letting it go at an awesome price. 
So this is lot Q1. Send us that email if you want this David Christensen lot. 32 grams approximately for 2560 for the next 23 hours or so only. All right. Otherwise, it goes up to $32, which is still a heck of a deal. Now, with those ones, they're done. If you watch that show Blown Away, they're done very much in that way. They're not done lamp work style, where they're done on rods like that. They're done where they pull the canes and stuff, and it's it's more of like an Italian um, way of doing it. Sandra said, do you have multiples or one only? One only, but we have a few different lots of this David Christensen. So I'm going to show you each lot. That was Q1. Because they're all different. They're all different. So this is lot Q2. You might like shapes or things um, in there. There's of, a couple of big ones. Yeah, there's some that are bigger. Um, if you like those. This and has a red some of core. them, they look not as good from the top. But yeah, if like, you look from the side, that's when you see the color. Right. So I'm trying to show you some of them by turning them and moving them because they do have a lot of color in them. And again, this is they're about 32 grams per bag. So they're $32 retail. There'll be $25.60 for you all if you claim within, um, well, up until tomorrow's live. And once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah, there's not more. It doesn't make any more. So they this has some bootleg. But that's they're not as good. So this is Q2, locked Q2. And if you ordered yesterday, as I said, you should have an invoice for your gemstones already as well. If you did not get an invoice, that means I did not get your emails. So sorry if you sent them and we didn't get them, but I checked spam and I have everyone that I thought I should have. Um, Cynthia says, I want more rainbow beads from him. No more. Done. Unless we get the time machine. Time machine. And if we have a time machine, that's not what I'm going for. <laughs> Sorry. I look, think at, it, look at this one in Q3. If I got a time machine, I'm going to get some old Etruscan gold. <laughs> we're going to become... Says we're going to go way back. We're going to become... Uh, plunderers of time. That sounds great, right? No. I don't know. If you could go back in time, when would you go? Look at that. Those are beautiful. That lot. Q3. Lot Q3, 2560. Send us an email if you'd like to claim any of these. Yeah, I love those. Those are great. I saw a beautiful knotted um, necklace using that, and it was beautiful. Lot Q4, David Christensen glass again, approximately 32 grams worth. Yeah, it was. Cynthia said that she'd go back in time and go to the 90s and buy casting grain. <laughs> Silver casting grain. When it was like $8 a troy ounce. You'd be rolling in it now, right? Uh, it's not as bad as it was. In 2008, it went up to $50 a troy ounce. And that's how I got my kiln. Marianne says, too many eras to choose from. Yeah, I always thought, I think about how I would have to put like a device, like create something to plug my nose hole. Because I don't think I'm accustomed to some of the strange stains and mysterious smells that would be happening. In what? In some of the old times. Oh. Like, you know those historic romances? When they throw their sewage out the window? Uh-huh. And <laughs> just like, no, thank you. Yeah. Um, Suzanne says, my field is history and I would not go back in time. Yeah, that, that would be, uh, you know, maybe not too, too far back. Susan says, as challenging as things are today, I don't want to go back in time. I would like to get some. If you could just DVDs. go and pick some stuff up and come back. Yeah. If you had to stay back in time. No. Nah. That might be harder. That That's might like be... Outlander when she talks about going back in time and they having the, the romance times on the back of the horse. I'm like, I don't know about y'all. 
but I have smelled a horse and I do not <laughs> exactly inspire the romantic feelings. Jen says O'Reilly Auto Parts sells flex capacitors online. Surely if we all team up with our creativity, we can create a time machine. There you go. Cindy says, I want to make a knotted necklace with all of them. I have no desire though to go back in time. Maybe forward, she says. Who who is it? Cynthia. Going forward. Going forward in time. I don't know. Time I, machines I, work both ways, right? Maybe. It depends what, what I could like to get a glimpse of the future. Maybe. And then record it and bring it back and be like, y'all fools, <laughs> you need to get your <laughs> stuff in order know. here. I think that might be too too much. It might be too depressing. Maybe be super joyful. Maybe we've we got everything figured out in the future. We watched this one Anne Hathaway thing where she talked to her future self and her future self was not how you call happy. Jen said, I definitely go back a year. Yeah, That's yeah. understandable. Um, Susan says, yeah, previous centuries weren't exactly sanitary. Yeah. But you know, some of this stuff, I would like to learn some of the things that have been lost. Teresa would go back to ancient Egypt to Queen. I'm not going to pronounce it right. Hepsetshot. Hepsetshot. Yeah. That's a violent rain, though. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. So we're out of the David Christensen glass. If you like those, I wasn't really saying the lot numbers. I think I was just showing them. So I hope you caught that. That's why we write them down. This is lot Q6. This is from Teresa La, La Liberté of lavender, of lavender creek. creek beads um was 75 dollars, 60 for you all until tomorrow's live if you get that in she used to live part-time in the northwest and then part-time in germany and this I don't, I don't think she sells anymore bead is so cool it looks kind of like lapis you got the gold and the blue and you got the little hair this is definitely a display like yeah i mean you could make something in that yeah but, but but with that nose i don't think i'd want to be banging it around on anything yeah. but that's a beautiful piece um diane says hello again now i'm now i'm on facebook hi jen and susan says maybe bring back the alexandrian library and things like that yeah that would be nice right stop the destruction of all that That'd yeah, be good that'd to have be. some of that knowledge. All right. So this is Teresa La Liberté from Lavender Creek Beads. $75 now down to $60. That's a steal, y'all. This is a, the $60 for that? That is People used to get into fights. And they she used to do these uh, eBay auctions. And they would go up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars sometimes. Cynthia says, Susan, um, Greg would be in agreement with the keeping the Alexandrian library and things. Hello, June. Thank you for tuning in. We're doing we're doing artisan glass beads today for great prices for y'all. 20% off the retail, which is marked out here, and the 20% price that you'll ultimately pay, because we'll take that off on your invoice, is shown there. Yeah, I would go back in time and buy all the PMC when it was like $20 <laughs> a bag. Holy cow, I would stock up. Stock up. Instead of a hundred a bag. Marion says, I would definitely only want to visit the past. I think I I'm I like that future idea, I think. I don't know. Okay, lot Q7, also from Teresa La Liberté from Lavender Creek. This was $55. It'll be $44 for you if you order before tomorrow's live. And it's this bead here. A little goddess bead. A little goddess bead with, little with this extra wire work in here. Probably that's sterling. Probably is sterling. I like that she's curvy. She is very curvy, right? Cindy says, I remember her beads sold out fast. I know. We were lucky. We found a. Um, undiscovered cash of these mm -hmm. and that's how we can offer them to you all yeah i don't know if i'd want to go to the future because i get a little bit anxiety already about the future unless i could but like... if it's great you know to keep on doing what you're doing and if it's not great then you know to maybe do something else mm -hmm. unless doing something else is what caused it to do see then you get into that 
butterfly effect. Mm -hmm. Like, did going forward cause the problem because you went forward already and changed things? You'd never know. Yeah, I don't watch too many things. I listen to the two books. <laughs> Give me a headache. <laughs> okay. Lot Q8 is also from Teresa Laliberte of Lavender Creek. Was 55, now 44. Another goddess bead. Like, is it like Time Traveler's Wife? Because I'm not into that. <laughs> Where you have to like dog fight naked. Uh, Where every skid. time you, you just jump anytime. That's so I'd like, I would like a control jump at least. Yeah. If you can't pick it, I don't want it. <laughs> You just show up naked somewhere all the time. Skip. And you Maybe don't... I I like to see Theo James do that, <laughs> but that's about that. Don't want that happening to you. Nah, that seems real problematic. Teresa says one of my favorite movies is called The Time Machine. Is it the old one, the H.G. Wells one? It's, Susan's asking the classic one with Robert Taylor and Yvette Miamex. I love that one. It's kind of like a honey goddess. Based on the H.G. Wells work. Um, lot Q9, Teresa La Liberté again, Lavender Creek, was 55, now 44, another goddess bead. Remember, send us an email if you'd like to purchase any of these. If you get your email to us before tomorrow's live, even if I don't get the invoicing done before then, you have secured your 20% discount. If you get them to us after that, um, you have to pay the retail. Sorry. Now, some of that, like those little little bits of metal in there, that's silver in there. These little silver pieces. Mm -hmm. Fine silver. She got fine silver adorning her. Norma said, I found the time traveler's wife depressing. Yeah, except I like that. Um, I wanted to go to the where, um, what's her name that wrote it? Um, she wrote it at Shake Sally. And she's actually an artist, and then, so she just came up with it. She just like instead of making my two D work or my my artwork, I'm gonna write a book. Uh, Audrey Neffenegger. So this is lot Q10 by Teresa La Liberté. Lavender Creek beads was fifty five, now forty four. I think these are amazing prices, actually. It's got the gold foil and that rose foil. glass. She's turning voluptuously <laughs> yeah that's some booty show booty show and shaking the look at that shoulder turn Nicki Minaj show there you go Q10 yeah that that was really depressing okay now we're going to get into some um sets of beads this is lot Q11 from Grace Beads and it was $42, and now it is $33.60 if you order by tomorrow's live. And we checked on these to make sure our prices were current. Mm -hmm. So if you were to buy these today, you would normally pay that. And we're giving you a discount off of that. Off of retail. Yeah. Basically giving them away. Because <laughs> we could justify selling these for retail, period. And if nobody buys them, we will. Right. But this is lot Q11 from Grace Beads. Retails $42. You get them for $33.60 for the set if you want them today. Yeah, most time traveler uh, shows, uh, movies, and books are really depressing. <laughs> What's that one with Jane Seymour and uh, Superman, Christopher Reeves, Somewhere in Time? Y'all remember that with that penny? I don't remember that. I don't know if I ever saw that. That used to be one of my favorites. This is lot Q12. Of course, the depressing one. <laughs> Q12, Grace Beads again. $42 is the retail. $33.60 is what you pay if you claim before tomorrow's live. These are really pretty, lovely five beads in these beautiful blues. All right. If you want to claim anything, just send us an email with that lot number. And you secure it for 20% off. Again, lot Q13 is Grace Beads. $42, now $33.60. These are really nice. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the camera. These are beautiful pinks. 
in kind of coppery or chromy golds. Some, yeah, they get that. It's called a reduction. Um, Norma says, I remember Somewhere in Time. I used to love that movie. Is that the one you're talking about? I guess so. He falls in love with Jane Seymour. So there you go. Grace Beads was 42, now 3360. Barnaby's looking at me, getting attention from his golden daddy. He says, I can get attention here too. You're gonna put me on the floor. He's a cutie. He's a cutie. I am looking forward to Octavia Butler. They're adapting her um, book, Kindred. Of course, this isn't exactly a happy one either, but um, that's gonna be on FX. This is Q14 from Grace Beads. $42, now $33.60. Yeah, her books are not how you call it, upper. And these are kind of ambery with pink in them. And then it has the kind of gray, beautiful. The ivory. Ivory color. Sliding Doors with Gwen Paltrow is also a good movie, says Soshi. Also depressing. <laughs> Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> so there you go. Lot Q14. I guess speed. it ends okay. But mm -hmm. let's all go cry. Lot Q15. Again, Grace Beads. Uh, we have a few more Grace Beads to show you. Then we're going to move on to some others. This is Q15. We're about halfway through the show today now. Halfway through the lots. I don't know how long the show's going to go. I know we're going to talk about <laughs> movies and books. Um, so this was 42 again, 3360. And these are some pinks with those beautiful chromey like golds. That's similar to the other screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be beautiful if you just put them as an. In the earrings, the smaller ones, you could make a matching set. That'd be a very nice way of using that. Yeah, it would. And make your money back quick. All right, there's that. Now we have another Q16, another Grace Beads. This one was a little bit more 52.50 retail down to 42 with your discount. There's more. Look, there's more of them. And look at these. They're so juicy, the colors. They are juicy. juice delicious. It made me want to... Um, I want an orange. Do um, <laughs> lampwork glass again. And I was like, but boy, unless I'm immortal. <laughs> you go work on what you got to work on. I know. That's like the vampires. I already talked about this before. But them some lazy, depressed people. Because <laughs> guess what? If I had immortality i would be crafting my brains out yeah they just sit around and Crying get, and get bored stuff. there's enough in the world to keep at least a few thousand years you would be oh my gosh know, they come out with stuff every day like they're a few hundred years and they're bored i or about 10 years on some of them <laughs> they're like oh the endless night i was like i lived that endless night anyway <laughs> Suzanne says, I'm getting more respect for pink because of Andrew. Yeah, I used to have a real challenge with pink, but nowadays I, like I love that. I keep showing these over. I love these ones They're so glowing much. They're glowing, eyes. I know. I love the glowy beads. They get me every time. Next up, Q17. This was 42. Will be 42 again if no one grabs it for 3360 before five o'clock tomorrow. But look at these ones. Whoa. Look at that beautiful it's stuff. It's glowing at me, William. I know. It's like shining bright. It's glowing in my eyeballs. I'm getting hypnotized. Me too. Look at all those colors. Oranges and pinks and purples and greens and blues. I think those are borosilicate. So it can get those kind of, kind of those unusual, almost opalescence. Beautiful. So that was Q17, Grace Beads, 42 retail, now 3360 for all of you. I could be wrong about that. 
Without being to look at. Cindy said, I just saw an ad for Kindred. I listened to one book about body jumping. Oh, Kindred is um, the Octavia uh, Butler. And she is about this um, black woman who goes back in time and has a hard time. <laughs> <laughs> Lot Q18 is Starlene Studio beads. These were 65. You can see this was even still priced. 65. Now 52 if you order before 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern time tomorrow by she sending us an make email. Beads anymore. Andrew says she doesn't make beads anymore. The hole goes this way through it. I love these. I remember when at Beat and Button, she was set up a couple tables down. And she just put a sign that says, I'm out, out of business now. <laughs> and then walked around and had a good time, I guess. I love how each one of these has like a bubble in the middle. So it looks like a flashy little bit of glass. Mm -hmm. It's trapped in there. That's amazing. And so like in each one. It's almost like a flower, like a dewdrop in a flower. Mm-hmm. So Starlene Studio Beads, $65 originally, $52 for you if you order before 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow. If you're watching this in the replay, as long as you're before 5 p.m. on Friday, December 9th, you can get the discount too. We have these holiday parties that we're going to go to, and that would be good to have a time machine because they're up there like the same time. I know. And we have to be in two places at once. And I'm going to make, I think, Babinka for one. Oh, my goodness. What are you getting us into? I don't know. Are those tomorrow or Saturday? Saturday. Okay. Thank goodness. I've got one more day. Next up, again, Q19, more Starling Studio, was 65 now 52 for this one. Isn't that beautiful? That is. Those are those honey colors. That would go with some of that tourmaline we had yesterday. Oh, the gravite? Mm hmm. That'd be killer. I know, right? Who got that gravite tourmaline? I know somebody did. Oh, did they? I think so. I'm pretty sure. I was going to keep it if nobody got it. <laughs> I think somebody grabbed it. I have a little bit of it tucked away. So here it is. For a rainy day. Marianne says drooling. Aren't they beautiful? They are. And they're just so different. Like and There's so much precision that goes into building those layers. And to get that for $52 right now, heck of a good deal. And the fact that you can't buy them anywhere else. <laughs> anywhere else anymore. You can't even buy them from her. So there you go. That was Q19. Yeah, if I was a vampire, I'd be so crafty. You'd know all the crafts by now. I know. And it would be like, it would be like, I would never get bored, ever. Like, they talk about how it takes a lifetime to, to you know, perfect something. Think of how many lifetimes you'd have. And, and how... If you had increased senses and like strength and stuff, imagine like all the things you could do. Like if you could see color like in a new way. I don't know if all vampires are like that, but if you're like um like the Anne Rice ones, they can see certain colors that uh, uh, like normal people can't see. Imagine what you could make. <laughs> imagine it. This and is Q20. This is Q20, Starlene's Beads. Was 49, now 39.20. That's a dang good price. I didn't have immortality to perfect my crafts. <laughs> my stash is pretty amazing. Yeah. And then also they're rich, so I'm like, what are you crying? I know. They don't have to worry about a thing other than getting some blood once in a while. I, I said, there's enough bad people in the world. <laughs> Lot Q20, Starlene's Beads. Maybe they just get so obsessed with getting blood that they can't it's like think a of drug. Susan says they're not really immortal since they can be killed. Well, 
If you can live a long, long time. You just stick to your own self and make your own crafts. Uh huh. You will live a long time. Yeah, if you don't need validation from external sources <laughs> and you can find happiness within, imagine how many people would be so happy. How many happy vampires there'd be. Oh no, I guess that's not a really good book then. No, that doesn't make everyone's like just so eggs. happy in the end. Oh. Hey, Nobody I'm... wants that to read. I know. It's like them Twilight books. Everybody turns into superheroes in the end, and you're like, What am I what am I reading? This is lot twenty one, the last of Starlene's beads, I think. No, we've got more coming up, but the last of this style of Starlene's beads. Was 49, now 39.20. These are like kind of like a pillow. They are like a star or a pillow. I just like them. I like them a lot. I think that'd be cool when you nestle something round in the bottom and the top. And again, not making beads anymore. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to get more from Starlene. Nope, she's done. Are the, the, these, I love these. These look like something a vampire would wear. I know. It's like a little bit goth. This is Starlene's Beads. $49, now $39.20. A dark angel. So it looks like one books. of those shows. There's something on the shows that's like this, and it stuff takes over. That's what it looks like. Cynthia, what's some books you used to read? Those are they Dark Angel books? I can't remember, but that's what that reminds me of. So this is has nice big hole, and this is Starlene's beads Q twenty two lot Q twenty two. They're Just super sculptural. Cool. They are, and they the glass is reactive, so it's got that metallic finish, almost like um like a like a raku so we've got a few like this this is a lot q23 they're all different they're all one of a kind mm -hmm. yeah how are you gonna make two of a kind like that but they do have nice ample holes so these are at least two or three millimeter holes Diane says it looks like a black woolly mammoth or something. But in a, like a wing sort of way. I love these. I think they're so just sculptural. Like somebody's going to, if if you have a problem like we do, approaching people somewhere, wear something like this. People are going to be like, what is that? They will come up to you to start talking. Uh -huh. A statement piece. And it looks expensive. Like, that is something, if you were wearing it on a nice strand with something, people think you spent a lot of money on that sculptural piece. And it's only $39.20. What? I know. I know. <clears throat> Lot Q24. Starlene's Beads, also $39.20. I think this one might be my favorite. Maybe the next one. I don't know. I kind of like the the wingedness, the wispiness of this one. Mm -hmm. Now, they're even better in person. So. Yeah. They don't look as good on screen. They look kind of grayish. And they are gray, but they have a beautiful metallic to them. Mm -hmm. They do look expensive, though. Like, I could see a fashion designer using something like that and charging a heck of a lot of money. Mm-hmm. It also helps that they're a little bit weird, right? Fashion is weird sometimes. They're different, but in a nice way. Yeah, I think so. This one actually might be my favorite. Q25. I kind of think of them almost like a, that ink test where it's like you can see shapes in it. Rorschach. The Rorschach test? I don't know how to say it. I think this might be my favorite. It has this little hook on the end, a little lip up. This is also thirty nine twenty by Starlene's Beads. Again, a maker who is not making any longer. I have one of those for my collection. 
that I got years ago. You might have more. Nobody buys them. Maybe. I wouldn't be mad about it. <laughs> He's like, I wouldn't be mad if y'all don't want any of these. No, I'll keep them. Lot Q26, the last lot from Starlene's Beads, is this beautiful little lot. A matching set of three. Matching set of three. They have these little, again, those little bubbles in each one of those to give you that extra flash in there. Trapped bubbles. That cannot be easy. Yeah, I don't know how you, you normally you don't want bubbles, but no, but they're trapped in there so precisely. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Lot Q26, Starlene's Beads. These are $19.20 only for the set of three. Or $24 if you wait until after 5 p.m. tomorrow and then you decide you want them. Cindy says, I love those. Aren't they pretty? They are really, really nice. I like that very emeraldy green. Okay, everybody. I gotta get the tray out now. Lot Q27, Harold Williams Cooney. He doesn't make it. He's hiking mostly now. <laughs> and I want to say these are all hollow. They are hollow. Which is, gives amazing lightness to every one of these. The first one was $42. It will be $33.60 with your discount if you Never order that. by 5 p.m. tomorrow. This is beautiful. It's like a beautiful melon. He did a whole series. They're called the American Trade Beads. And he did a different uh, set for every state. And you see the holes? The holes are drilled this way. But this is a hollow bead. It's super light. Mm -hmm. like, but it's sturdy. But it's sturdy. But it's super light. Like it's thick enough to be sturdy. <laughs> Since it says, I want that. Seriously. Isn't Look that pretty? at that. It kind of reminds me of Tiffany Glass, the color. Cindy says, I have some to match already. I know. We used to see him at the Best Bead Show. Diane says, it looks like a sugar baby watermelon. I want, I want a sugar baby watermelon. <laughs> All right. So there's that one. Eating. That one might be going to Cynthia. Who knows? Oh, get ready, y'all. Prepare yourselves. Q28. We told you some of these are a little bit um, budget busters a little bit. But that's worth it. But it's worth it. Next up, <laughs> Cynthia's like, I'll trade you. <laughs> She's already, she wants that one. Next up, lot Q28. Harold Williams Cooney was $150. Now $120 if you order by 5 p.m. tomorrow. And it's this one. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. I, I kept one for myself. And these but... are hollow, again. This one has the silver going through. It has the little extras here if you want it. You're mainly purchasing this piece right here. Mm -hmm. Hollow mm -hmm. bead by Harold Williams Cooney. $120 with the discount. $150 retail. Barnaby says he liked that stripey bead. Right. Marianne says, wow. Diane says, that's a big bead. So these, again, you might make stuff with them or you might put these behind glass with the rest of your higher end bead collection. Teresa says, looks a little bit like a turtle shell. Kind of. You know, artists are inspired by all different things. You like never a know. rainbow turtle. I would like that turtle. Right. That'd be a fun turtle. Oh, Barn, you're fun too. Yeah, you are. This is Am I? Am I? <laughs> you are. You're lots of fun. He says, Where's my box? Let's have some more fun. All right. So this is lot Q28, Harold Williams Cooney, $150, down to $120 if you order before 5 p.m. tomorrow. And these are the prices, the retail prices, y'all. That's not uh, inflated. Lot Q29, Harold Williams Cooney, was $120 down to $96. Barnaby had to jump up to get a better look at these. Mm -hmm. Somebody says stripes. Look at that swirl. 
I also like how he makes them um, uh, matte finish. Yeah. Andrew loves a matte finish. If you mm-hmm. didn't know, it I brings, like glossy more. He likes matte more most of the time. It brings out that pattern. This one is drilled here and here. So it's, it, a focal. It, it's a focal. You'd stick the string through here. Oh, Barnaby, what are you doing, buddy? You just want some attention from me, don't you? Uh, Cindy said Gene would like that one. Uh, and Gene. So this is Q29, Harold Williams Cooney. Sorry, my writing's atrocious. Harold Williams Cooney was $120, now $96. If you'd like to claim that one, add that to your behind the glass bead collection. Or string it up. Or string it and use it, sure. Jen says, I want to lick this. Is that wrong? No. The snozberries taste like snozberries. Um, but I found out what snozberries means, so uh oh. Maybe you don't want that. Uh- Barnaby is trying to get in on this. Uh-huh. He's trying to get in on this a little bit. <laughs> Barnaby, this is my precious. So there you go. And the last one, we saved a goodie for last. Big, big. Lot Q30. Another Harold Williams Cooney was 150 down to 120 the biggest one of the night you're actually probably getting a little bit of a deal on that one mm-hmm. here's the hole the hole goes um here and here so it is also a focal holes are right there isn't that beautiful look that... at that think about making that out of glass like like i've seen stuff like polymer clay like that but making it out of glass that's molten hot. molten glass and then blowing it and then blowing it and puffing it out and making it hollow and then making a star like that's amazing and these you know they feel super light but they also feel substantial like i do not worry like that i'm gonna just push on this and crack it like these feel yeah. substantial but they are amazingly light Go ahead, look online, see what you see, and then you're going to buy this one. I <laughs> bet guarantee. Marianne says, oh, my, my. Jen says, that's amazing. Isn't that? So this is the last one of tonight. We're going to do more on Monday. Andrew said he might sneak in some more tomorrow, too. I'm so torn, y'all, because I want to keep all the Harold uh, Williams Cooney beads. Cynthia says, the skill required to make that is amazing. It's symmetrical and delicate. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, like, I don't even know. There's, like, this feathering technique going on. It's so beautiful. And then it's, it's like, how he layers the colors, they almost glow. And this is how it would sit. So I'm trying to get this, because I'm showing it to you in all sides, but this is how it would sit upright if you were using it. Look how beautiful that is. Mm-hmm. So he says, remember where that bead goes. Where? He says, to me, she to said. <laughs> Somebody want to buy Cynthia a Christmas present? I know, there you go. She said, to me. <laughs> All right, everybody. That's the show today. Let me flip the camera around. We're going to do a real quick goodbye. We're not going to draw this out like we sometimes do. Or maybe we will. Who knows? Huh? He says, I'm hungry. We got to eat. He, he prepared part of our food tonight um so thanks everybody thanks for tuning in if you like any of these things please send us an email i haven't checked my email so i don't know if any of them are gone um i know artisan beads are one of those things we don't sell a lot of them even when we do show them um but again these are some that are some people who are not making these anymore so that's what we were first known for as our artisan beads the, the store was originally founded on artisan beads and check glass and gemstones so we had like three pillars um we've kind of added a little bit ethnographic collection to that in the recent years more so than we had before because we couldn't afford it before right so (laughs) so we've added a fourth pillar um but we still you know we used to be really well known for artisan beads um and you know a lot of the artisans over the last few years have started selling on their own um, especially over the pandemic they've not had much of a choice so um it's harder to get artisan beads unless we get a stash 
that, that we, we can resell. that we can resell and we can find like these. Um, so we were very lucky to find these. Again, we're going to show you more of these on Monday. So if you liked what you saw today, um, we'll do Monday and we'll also do the 20% sale again on Monday. So be sure to stay tuned. Tomorrow we're going to do some glass strands and um, maybe some artisan beads tomorrow too. Um, the the glass strands we're not going to put on sale because they're already too cheap. Yeah, they're going to be they're just going to be marked down, cheap, ready to go. Um, that way we don't have to mess with discounts. Uh, Marion says, I requested some of these. Good. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you. I'm glad somebody likes them and appreciates them because it does take, you know, not everyone cares about this stuff. Some people. Oh, do you want to do a giveaway? Oh, let's do a giveaway. Let me go run and get some. Go get a giveaway, out. Andrew. So we're going to do a giveaway because we said we'd do a giveaway or said we might. Um, so yeah, we're going to have uh, glass strands tomorrow. We're going to have more artisan beads on Monday, maybe some artisan mixed in tomorrow. And we'll see what happens after that point. Um, Andrew will have his demo generally on Tuesday for all of you um, coming up. So we're glad to be back in this. Thank you for tuning in. Um, we know we were gone for a few days because of the show that we were in. So we're getting back into it. I am still getting through emails. I know. Um, but today I think I got through most of the emails, even some that have been waiting for a while, um, from our store tour. Um, I've been answering, going back and forth with people and doing things like that from the store tour. So I think I've gotten back to everybody. Um, Don't the camera, huh? Don't the camera. I'm still talking. Don't flip the camera. He told me to flip the camera. He's getting ready to eat. So let's flip the camera around. I don't know who made this, so y'all. Um, Teresa says, I requested two. Kathleen says, I want them all. Marianne says, I love artisan glass beads, but really need to display them. Me too. I know. It's hard to find a good display that. sometimes, Maybe right? This so okay. here's the prize. Ooh, look at this one. Here's the prize, y'all. I don't know who made it. <laughs> he says, I don't know whose it is, but it's a beautiful artisan made glass bead. You can see the original price too. Price was eighteen dollars. I think I know who made it, but I'm not sure, so I don't want to say. Suzanne shared. Teresa shared. So we're gonna go through the shares, and after this video is over, we're gonna go through all the shares. We're gonna give you a little bit of time to share, um, and we're gonna pick a winner from the shares. Enough after dinner so if you're watching this rewatch you might have some time to get in there make sure you say shared in the comments so we know to look for it if we, so we also have a list of names to to randomly generate a, a winner and we're going to confirm those shares so make sure you share publicly if you only share with your friends and we are not your friends i don't see it. we can't see it and if you only share you know with with a limited amount of people on facebook we can't see it so make sure you set that share that one post to public so we can make sure we see it, all right? And you could get a chance to win this. You do not have to purchase anything to win. So you just have to share, all right? So there you go. All right, everybody, we're gonna go. We're gonna go now. So okay. keep sharing. Thank you so much. What'd you say, Andrew? Um, okay. I was gonna maybe say who I think it is, but I'm not sure. Okay, so please share. And get your orders in by email before 5 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow to save that 20%. So you get so you get this price that's circled and not this price on the papers. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great evening. Bye now. See ya.